in a patriarchal system many areas of women's lives may be controlled by men families and or societies first is control over women's production or labor power women's labor power may be controlled both within the household and the outside within the household women work from morning till night all their lives they provide all kinds of services to their children to their husbands and other family members sociologist silvia wallby calls this patriarchal mode of production where their husbands and cohabitees expropriate women's labor she says housewives are the producing class while husbands are the expropriating class the back breaking endless and repetitive labor is not considered work at all and in spite of all this work housewives are considered to be dependent on their husbands men or families also controls women's labor outside the home families decide what our girls will study what jobs are good for them men may not allow their wives to work outside women may be excluded from better paid jobs men may also appropriate what women earn the fact that men control and exploit women's labor means that men benefit materially from patriarchy they derive concrete economic and other gains from the subordination of women then there is control over women's reproduction men and male dominated religions may control women's reproductive power as well in many societies families decide when girls will get married whom they will marry and when will they start having children in many others women are not given the freedom to decide how many children they want to have whether they can use family planning devices or terminate a pregnancy although women produce and bring up children men control them men are considered the natural guardians of children by most legal systems and social practices and norms in modern times the patriarchal state tries to control women's reproduction through their family planning programs male dominated science decides what kind and for whom the contraceptives will be made so control from all sides another control is over women's sexuality men control women's sexuality in different ways women have to provide sexual services to the husbands according to the needs and demands of the husbands men restrict the expression of women's sexuality outside marriage while they themselves retain the freedom to have sex outside marriage sexual abuse within homes sexual harassment at public spaces rape or the threat of rape are other ways in which women's sexuality is controlled in order to control women's sexuality women's dresses behavior and mobility is carefully monitored in patriarchy while on the one hand men want their own wives to be sexually controlled and modestly dressed they also want other women to be available to satisfy their lust this is why 
the other side of the good woman good wife is the whore the prostitute and the half naked women in the media sometimes men force their own wives and daughters or other women under their control into prostitution the next is control over women's mobility in order to control women's sexuality production and reproduction men have to control their mobility the innumerable restrictions on women going out of their homes or going out at night or talking to men or the imposition of parda are all done to control women's sexuality and freedom many girls are not allowed to play outside the home go to school live in hostels or do jobs that require them to travel etc often married women cannot take up jobs without their husband's consent they have to take up residence at places decided by their husband and so on such restrictions clearly define women's spaces and limit their chances of progress in fact in patriarchy good women should be restricted only in the private or domestic space under patriarchy there is men's control over property and other economic resources in most societies property and productive resources are controlled by men and this control passes from father to son from one man to another women seldom control and inherit equal property and economic resources in fact women themselves are considered the property of their men or their husbands and then friends in patriarchy there is men's control over important decision making in all institutions of society an analysis of the main institutions in society almost everywhere in the world shows that they are controlled by men and they are patriarchal in nature only the extent of this control may be different institutions like family religion media etc are the pillars of the patriarchal system and structure this means there is a tight net of patriarchy all around us you confront it wherever you go this well knit and deep rooted patriarchal system does make patriarchy seem invincible and natural